I'm filming, so I'm on my phone right now, guys. But I have a date set to be induced, Benjamin. Don't know what it is. You get it for the 25th? Not the 25th. Then when? 22nd. She wants us to come in after midnight. What? <laughs> I wanted it for the 25th, so that way, because usually Brittany's uh, labors last like 12 hours. Yeah. So I wanted to go in like mid-afternoon on the 25th, so that way when she does have the baby, it'll be on the 26th. Yeah, our dating our, anniversary yeah. is on the 26th, and it's going to be 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. So 10 20, years I've been with this crazy lady. 22nd. So 22nd. She wants us to come in at midnight, though, on the 22nd? Yeah. So that means you're probably gonna have the baby on the 22nd. Hey guys, welcome back to The Fun Funny. So as you guys saw in the previous clip, I am going to be induced. So a little backstory because I don't even think I've talked to you guys about me possibly being induced, like wanting to be induced. I haven't mentioned it at all. So it's probably a surprise to you guys. But me and Benny have been talking about it for a little while. What's up, babe? I need to be loose You need me to tie in your bracelet? Okay, hold the camera real quick. Say hi. Hi, hi, hi. So as I was saying, me and Benny have been talking about possibly being induced because my hospital that I'm going to be delivering at this time around is not close at all. It's actually an hour drive. And that's just so far away. Like the thought of being in active labor, being in the car for an hour or more is a little nerve wracking. So we've been talking it over and we think it's best if I just get induced. That way the girls can get settled with my mom first because that's the plan for the girls as well. Whenever I have baby girl, the girls are going to be with my mom forever like how long they need to be. My mom does have littles at her house. So my mom has like everything she would need for the girls. She has car seats. She has like extra clothes if she needs them for the girls because my sisters are around like the same age as Layla and Aurora. So for some reason they need more clothes. They're set there. My mom has like all of the girls' favorite snacks. She has toys everywhere. And my mom does homeschool my sisters as well. So she will, like, she can take over Layla's homeschool stuff as well because she's done it before. So it's just best if the girls get situated with my mom. But the issue is that my mom, with traffic, she's about like three hours away. So just like, it's just like, it wouldn't work out. It's just better if I be induced, I think. That way, I have a set date of when I need to go in and my mom can pick up the girls like the day before or whatever the case may be, so. Hey, babe. I was just explaining hey to them why I was gonna be induced. Cause uh -huh. it just makes sense. Yeah, it does. Cause I was saying like, right now, like with COVID, if I do go into labor and I'm having like crazy contractions, we have to like start driving right away because it's an hour drive and then due to covid you and the girls would literally have to sit in the car and i'd have to be alone in the hospital while yeah. you wait for my mom to get the girls yeah i mean it all it all makes sense yeah and then also too once my mom gets the girls from you then it would be even longer wait because they're probably going to test you for COVID too and then they wouldn't have you come to my room until they get the test results back. That's just a lot of hours like gone <laughs> and I wouldn't want to be alone in the hospital. Just wish you could have done it on the 25th. Right. Already I done know. They were on the 26th. Yeah, yeah so, cool. so as you guys saw in the previous clip, I'm going to be induced on the 22nd but that might change depending on how today goes because I have a growth scan today so they're gonna make sure she's all good in there because yesterday when my ob was like measuring my belly and she was feeling around in there i was measuring a little bit behind so she just wants to make sure that baby girl is good in there i'm not leaking any fluid and just all of that stuff so hopefully i can record it because this guy hasn't seen her since the she first was, ultrasound like, so, yeah she was like a little gummy bear in there I've seen her, the last time I saw her was my anatomy scan, which was at like 
what, like 20, 22 weeks? I think so. I don't remember. It was 20 something. And now I'm 37 weeks tomorrow. I'm 37 weeks like the day you guys are watching this. So it's it's been a, a long time. I imagine I'm not going to see her like perfectly if they show me her today because I'm pretty she sure she's smushed. all yeah, she's all smushed in there now. Hopefully I can record that for you guys and for Benny, for the girls so they can see her. But yeah, that's pretty much like our game plan for birth right now. I had a good induction experience with Everly. A lot of people were telling me like their horror stories when I mentioned that I was going to be induced with her and a lot of people were saying that it was terrible and they weren't dilating, they were having super strong contractions and it ended in a C-section, but that wasn't the case for me. Mm. I was given like Cytotech, I was given Pitocin. Yeah, and, then, and I think that was... Yeah, that and was then you got... Yeah, what's it called? Epidural? Yeah. But I only got the epidural because I, I like, I feel like I psyched myself out. Yeah. Because with Layla, I had the Pitocin and it was, it was terrible. I was having like back to back contractions, like no break in between. I was in so much pain. And then when they gave me Pitocin with Everly, I was just like, oh my gosh, like I don't want to feel that pain again. So I got the epidural before I felt anything. So I was in never, I was never in like any real pain with Everly. Before we head out, give you guys a bump update like I always do. So I'm 37 weeks the day you guys are watching this. As I'm filming this, I'm 36 weeks and six days. So basically 37. We are almost there. Like I said, we have a date for baby girl's arrival. It may be earlier depending on how today goes. But it's just so crazy. Countdown for this little girl has begun. Another thing they're going to look for today too, I didn't mention, is to see if she dropped. Because not yesterday's appointment, but last week's OB appointment. Her heartbeat, when they were checking it, it was like above my belly button. So my OB was concerned that she was breech. She wasn't head down. But yesterday when I got checked again and she was like feeling around, she was like pushing around on my stomach a little bit. She was just feeling baby girl's position. It felt like baby girl flipped and she's head down now. Today's ultrasound will also confirm that as well. So I'm getting a growth scan and they're checking baby girl's position today. So fingers crossed, everything is good. The date doesn't change for our induction because I wouldn't want her to come too early because the date that we have scheduled as of now puts me at 39 weeks. So I'm not gonna be induced like crazy early or anything like that. I'll literally be induced like a week before my actual due date. So I'm hoping that stays and hopefully this girl is head down. I bought a yoga ball and I've literally been bouncing on it like every single day to try to get her to like get into position and just drop more, but we'll see. So big in there now. I know. <laughs> and then it looks like it's his arm right here by his face. I'm just trying to get like a side picture. So you can see the face super good. And then you can see like the lips moving a little bit. <laughs> Here's the stomach. Uh, 
like the legs are right here. So you can kind of see like the bone. Okay, the bone right here. Baby's so active. <laughs> all the time, like so all day. You can see the baby moving right here as well. <laughs> so it looks like the baby's playing with his hands and his mouth. So she was pretty big in there, so it's kind of hard to see her. You have to kind of <laughs> use your imagination here. I'm tired. Yeah, and then her eyes, and then she had her her hands up the whole time. And she was wiggling around the whole time too, so it was really hard for her to get measurements. Who is that in there? I can't see <laughs> what she looks <laughs> like. <laughs> I have to keep beeping you because you always say baby sister's name. It's baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of beeps in here. You wanna see the video? Can we show us to see the pictures? Big sister wants to see. It's kinda hard to see her. She's big in there. Is this her head and then this is her body yeah. and then that's her hand? Yeah, her hands are up by her face. She looks all squished in there. She is all squished in there. <laughs> all right, so we're finally back home. So I figured I would let you guys know how my appointment went today. Unfortunately, my OB was called in for a delivery, so she was not in the office, so she wasn't able to go over my ultrasound results. So I don't really know how things looked because the ultrasound tech is like not allowed to go over that information with you. I don't know if like the fluid looks good. I don't like know how her growth is, all of that stuff. The only thing I do know though is she is head down. When she was um, scanning me, her head was <laughs> down here and then her feet were all up right here, which explains why I get sudden jabs to my ribs right here. I have rib pain all the time on my right side all the time, you guys. I can't even lay on my right side in the middle of the night because it hurts so bad and now i know it's because baby girl's feet are up in my ribs so i'm really happy that she's head down now so i will have to update you guys next week because i do go in weekly like i said so i have an ob appointment next week in a couple days actually it's on monday hopefully baby girl looked good in there she was so like smushed in there so it was kind of hard to tell like what was what you kind of have to like listen to the ultrasound tech because she was explaining to me like what everything was but she'll be here soon so i'm not even like worried about her or anything i'm just so excited to finally meet her so before i close out this video actually i I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this that I got in the mail because I know you guys always like when I share baby products that I get. So this is by the brand Copper Pearl and it's their multi-use cover. I got it in the color um, Camel. So it's in like this pretty like brown. So this is a nursing cover, car seat cover, shopping cart cover, um, high chair cover and a infinity scarf so it shows you like all of the all of the ways you can use it so here is what it looks like it's literally just like a fabric so you can put this over your car seat to cover the baby which is going to be really nice especially since it's going to start getting cold outside and then you just put this over yourself like this and then you just breastfeed your baby under here. I used one of these with Aurora and it was like a must have for me because I breastfed her all the time when we were out and about. And it's just so nice to have, especially when it's cold outside, which it will be hopefully soon. I'm so over the summer weather. But that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this baby watch vlog. Hopefully you were able to kind of see baby girl. Like I said, she was smushed in there, so it was kind of hard to see like 
what was what in the ultrasound but hopefully you guys enjoyed that i know i did because i haven't seen her since my anatomy scan and then benny hadn't seen her since our first ultrasound same thing with the girls they hadn't seen her since that so it was really exciting to get to see you today but as always if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed to the man family and make sure you hit that bell that way you guys always get notified every single time i upload and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready let me be honest